Hi guys, this is Patricio. And um, before starting the video, I was I was just want to say that um I finally filmed members of my family because of the present situation where my team is. I don't have any more team. So I did the project by my own and I interviewed members of my family. So I hope that you guys understand and enjoy the video. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, today for the English project I'm going to start with the first part. Uh, I will interview Mayan, who's here, Julia Parinas, who is the big sister of my mother Gabriela. Um, as you know, I'm going to talk about the multicultural life in Canada. Um, my aunt came to visit us for six months. She's going to be here. She comes directly from Chile. Yeah, I'm going to ask her some questions of how she thinks is Canada. If, if there's something different compared to Santiago, if the city of Montreal is more multicultural than Santiago. So the first question that I'm going to ask her would be, um, what was the first thing that she got impressed when she came here? When you came here in Montreal, what was the first thing that you saw as a person who was different? Everything. Everything? Because everything is so clean, so clean, so uniform. Well, she said that she thinks that all of Montreal is very beautiful and it's also it's all like a uniform. It's all so, so perfect, so clean compared to the capital city of Chile. Uh, now the second question that I want to ask her is if she, uh, if she finds that in, Ch if in Canada there's a lot of cultures in the city of Montreal. You think that here in Montreal there's a lot of culture mixed compared to Santiago or more or less? More or less because there's a lot of immigrants also in Chile. Yeah? But what's the difference between the two? Here people are more discriminatory and more amable. She said that compared to Santiago, uh, the multicultural life is more or less equal because there's a lot of immigrants that are, are going to Chile. But she says that compared to Santiago, compared to Chile, here in Montreal, Canada, people are more nice, people are more educated, and they're more open. So you can see more var var varieties of culture because here there's less discrimination. Now, my third question that I would l like to ask her would, would be if she has liked her trip here in Montreal and what she has liked the most. Uh, Hotel Abutau, for now, 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 well, she said that he, she has enjoyed her time here in Montreal this past uh, two, three months. Uh, she said that she loves the malls, that they're very beautiful, very big. And she liked the uh, Oratoire Saint Joseph, that she said that was impressive and that it was her favorite uh, tourist place of Montreal. Now, my fourth question will be, uh, what, what part did she like about the, the cultural life of here of Montreal? What did she find the, the most attractive of cultures here? Um, usted cuando vio aquí la, la, la cultura diversa que, que hay aquí, todo, ¿cuál, que, ¿cuál fue la cosa que más la intrigó de la cultura de tan que se puede mostrar? Como lo más, como que lo, lo que sale más comparado. Hay gente de los negros y los hindúes. Well, she said that what she got impressed here about the multicultural life of Montreal is that compared to Chile, there's more black people, more from Africa, IT, and there's more uh, people from India who are Hindus. Um, we have, uh, just to give you a brief explanation, um, in Chile, there's not a lot of Hindus and black people. Immigration is pretty new in Chile. So for her to come here to Montreal it was pretty much a big shock to see these different cultures, these different people with skin colors. And now my last question will be if she will come back here to Montreal and what she would like to see if she comes back. So my last question is for you, Julia. Would you come back to Montreal if you had the opportunity? And what would you like to see? 
algo como que le gustaría ver, algo diferente, que no ha podido ver por ahora. Eh, he visto casi todo, me gustaría estar más en el, volver y venir eh, en el tiempo de verano, cuando hacen conciertos, al aire libre. Como el festival de jazz. Es el festival de jazz, entonces eso me gustaría volver, volver para ver eso, porque no, no alcancé, llegué muy voy atrasado, en agosto y ya se terminado todo. Well, she said that she has she has like everything that have she she has seen in Montreal, but she wants to come for the summer because she she has heard the the internationally known festival of jazz in Montreal, and she wants to come and have the summer in Montreal because now she has only left winter and she has only seen snow, so she wants to come in summer to see how hot is Montreal. And how is the beauty of Montreal? Bueno, esto es todo, tía. Gracias por, por su tiempo y no la molesto más. So that was it for the first. Hi guys, so this is the second part of the project. I'm with my sister, Claudia Vilches. Um, the difference with the first part that was my aunt, Julia, is that Claudia has left the yes. most of the part of her life here. She immigrated in Canada when we were. Five, six years old. When she was five, six years old, and she has made uh, half of her life here. This is her daughter, Alicia, who's two years old. She was born here, who's two years old. And I'm going to ask some questions about my, about the Montreal and the multicultural life to my sister. Um, my first question would be, when you arrived here, was it hard when you were as a kid? Or I don't remember because I was so little, so I think it was hard for my parents, but um, I have very little memories of how I learned uh, French and English. Um, yeah, sometimes kids used to make fun of the things that I would say or the way I would pronounce things, but as a child, I, I didn't really... Uh, Take it personally, or uh, I didn't really care actually. <laughs> so. As as we know, well, I know for 15 years with my sister. We have traveled a lot, and uh, Montreal. What, what's so special about Montreal compared to other cities? You know, every city has something special. Do you find that Montreal has something kind of unique compared to not New York? Diversity. Diversity. So you see, you see yourself here growing up? With yes, and I see my kids growing up here, and uh, the future, uh, I would say, uh, the, the kids are going to come, our kids, the, the future kids, generation the of future our family, generation, exactly. I'll say in Montreal. Nice, nice. So my last question would be, um, do you, compared to Chile, as we know now, the immigration has grown a lot in Santiago. Uh, do you think that one day maybe Santiago will be as multicultural than Montreal, or will Montreal always be one step further than Santiago? It's hard to say, but I think that Montreal is always going to be a step further because they started before, right? They yeah, yeah. Montreal has been multicultural since since its creation. Right? So I I find it's very hard to. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is what this is our brand here. Yeah. As a, even our our English and our French is always uh, very printed of other cultures. So yeah, yeah. Very hard to talk, man. Very hard to talk. <laughs> <So> Good luck. <laughs>
Thank you for your time. That will be it. Yeah, it and was a pleasure. Th thanks, no, thanks to you for your time. And well, that's it. Cut.